Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Linsonanian, the curator, and today I'm going to talk a little about a garment. Uh, one of the things about Arthur Conan Doyle's stories was that Sherlock Holmes could look at a person's clothes and tell all sorts of information about them by the clothing. The clothes made the man. Well, some and the clothes told the story. Some clothes uh, tell a more interesting story than others, and I want to discuss this one today. This garment, which is uh, one of the costumes in our collection, costume being the clothing of the 19th century, is uh, one of the, the unusual men's garments we have. We will, many women's garments, but not very many men's garments. This is not typically Armenian at all. This is a typical Persian frock coat of the 19th century. Notice how it flares out of the sides. The material is made out of cashmere, uh, cashmere wool, very expensive uh, status symbol. And this has a, quite a story about it. This particular garment was worn by General uh, Mesrob Askepedian. And General Askepedian was a doctor. He was in the Iranian army, he, a, a, a military doctor. He had been trained in America, and he went back and he uh, be, became a physician there. And they had a, uh, he was at a, a function where they were testing a cannon and one of the cannons exploded and it injured the men. And the, the, at this event, the Shah was there, the Shah of Iran was at this event to watch this military demonstration. And Dr. Askepedian saved the lives of the soldiers that were injured. And the Shah was so impressed by him that he made him his personal physician and became his advisor. And he was very much in favor of the Shah, uh, in the Shah's favor. And so the Shah gave him a coat. This is very typical of Middle Eastern culture in that um, if you were in the favor of the king, the Shah, the Sultan, whatever, they would often honor you by giving you a long robe, which would be very expensive uh, and it would show that you had the favor of the king. And you would always wear that robe at the functions to show that you were in the king's favor. So the wearing the robe was a political statement. It was telling everybody that you know you stood beside your ruler, etc. And of course, if you showed up not wearing the robe, the people started wondering, what's going on? <laughs> Politics. That's the nature of it. That's the nature of the game. There's always this kind of issue. Well, because of General Askepedian's work with the uh, with these soldiers, the Shah gave him a coat, following the old tradition. But instead of a long, old-fashioned coat, it was a modern 19th-century frock coat. And this is the, the coat here. It's a little elaborate as far as how you put it together. And to unbutton it, you have to take apart this frog in the front. There's actually a dedication inside the garment that it was a gift from the Shah to General, to um, Mesrob Nefton. Nefton was his last name. Uh, Mes Askepedian was a title that was given to Father of the Nation. Uh, General Askepedian um, was involved in World War I. And uh, after World War I, he used to go around giving lectures uh, about the, his experiences and about the Armenians and the needs for the survivors and the Near East Relief. He worked for Near East Relief. And when he died, his, his um, widow, Mary, Lady, uh, Anne, Lady Anne Askepedian, also began lecturing. She became very well known as a um, lecture about he, women's rights, human rights, the Armenian need uh, for, for the uh, refugees. Uh, we have an exhibit of, on Lady uh, Anne Askepedian on the second floor of the museum. And when the museum reopens, I hope you will join us and you will see that uh, exhibit at Alma. If you enjoy this uh, video, please check out the others on the YouTube channel. We celebrate our 50th anniversary this year. There's no better time uh, to become a member of the museum. To become a member, please visit armeniamuseum.org slash membership. Until next time, thank you for joining us and stay safe.